Hello, folks, and welcome to Club Passim. Uh, thank you for joining us for your Wednesday night. Uh, we are thrilled to be able to in, uh, introduce to some of you and uh, reunite you for some of the others with uh, Mark Douglas Berardo tonight. Uh, I know a lot of you are joining us from Mark's normal weekly stream. Uh, and so if you're not familiar with us, welcome to Club Passim. Uh, I want to take just a couple minutes and tell you about what we do here at Passim and who we are. Uh, we are a nonprofit organization. We run a venue, uh, usually seven nights a week, in Harvard Square in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Um, and we've been a venue for the last 60 years and running as a nonprofit for the last 26 of those. And it's because of your support that we are able to put on shows in the club when it is once again safe. But until then, uh, it's because of your support that we are able to bring you these streaming shows online. Uh, so we are bringing you streaming shows nearly every night of the week. We also moved our School of Music online so you can continue to, make, to take classes and workshops if you are a musician or an aspiring musician. Um, uh, we also run several festivals throughout the year. We had a Celtic festival, BCM Fest in January. We have our Bluegrass and Old Time Festival coming up in April, and we run two uh, campfire festivals uh, over Memorial Day and Labor Day weekends every year as well. And all of that is coming online right to you folks. Um, so if you would like to help support both Passim and Mark tonight, you can go to passim.org slash stream. In addition to seeing all of the upcoming shows that we have for the next month or so, right at the top in the center, you will also see um, a yellow donate button. And we're suggesting a $20 donation for the show tonight. If you can uh, give more than that, amazing. It's going to be split between both Passim uh, to help us continue to produce these shows for you and with our artist Mark tonight. If you can't afford the $20, that's fine. Every little bit helps. And if you can't afford anything at all, we still want you here. Uh, we want you engaged, we want you involved, and we want to bring you some music. So thank you for dropping in, whatever your situation. And um, uh, I hope that you stop by in the future as well for uh, upcoming Passim performances. Uh, but for right now, uh, we are so happy to have here tonight Mark Douglas Berardo. Uh, he has played in the club uh, several times over the years, uh, most recently with Red Molly, um, and also opening for uh, Passim favorites like Cliff Eberhart. Uh, he is in he's in Rhode Island right now, so we're going to be heading south in in a bit. But for those of you who, who aren't familiar with Mark, um, he's he's got some music coming out. He's got a new single dropping in May. So maybe we'll hear some of that new music tonight. Uh, but you'll definitely hear some old favorites if you're already a fan. Uh, thank you for dropping in tonight. And please help me welcome up Mark Douglas Berardo. Thank you, Abby. Apart. When life got bad, things got tight. What happened to them is that they lost touch. During so many working nights, what happened to her, she began to change. But she realized change isn't always bad. What happened to him? She took a job on Wall Street instead. He always saw himself living in the Florida Keys. But somewhere to he lost the thread. She thought that she was acting responsible. 
night and I'm very 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 glad to be playing for you once again you know I see some of you I see some familiar faces I hope there's some new folks too but uh, please leave a comment let me know you're here I I'm having a little uh, it's a little different setup for me tonight so I want to know you're there and I want to know you're listening so make yourself known in the meantime I'm gonna lay on you this this little song this song about uh, change and much like the first song, this sort of explores the idea that change can, can happen fast and out of nowhere, and I think we can all relate to that. This is called Shake Out the Dust. Ended up backwards on the ramp. It's 
fishes from extinction he could out the dust. Yeah, you're welcome, Gussie. Thanks for always for asking for that one. It's uh, some songs over the years, you know, they're favorites of mine, too, uh, you know. Well, I'm glad you're here. I hope you're, you know, I'm, I'm having a little different setup tonight to my regular people, so I can only see who's here uh, when they comment, and I hope it sounds good, and um, it's really an honor in any way to be uh, playing for, at, or around Passim in Cambridge, Massachusetts, USA. It's a, it's a magical place, and I'll tell you more about that in a second. But continuing the theme of change and time passing, I want to lay this on you now. I made up in a hotel room in Baltimore some time ago. I'd never get tired of singing it, you know. It takes me right back there.
Enjoyed that immensely. <laughs> Cheers, friends. Here's to you. I hope you're out there. I want to believe you are. So, uh, welcome, Cosmic Griffs. Thank you, Arizona. Kenny the Acrobat, leader of the pack. Albert from Florida. Jamie. Rasta. Glad to see you all. So, uh, yeah, many years ago I, I, I lived not too far from the great Club Passim. And Passim is one of those rooms, um, if you don't know this already, it's a friend to the songwriter. It's been there an incredibly long time. Um, and, uh, you know, every hero I know has, has played has played at this at Passim, you know, and it was one of those rooms when I lived in 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 town there. I was just, you know, in, in Boston. I I remember walking by and thinking, you know, one day, one day maybe I'll maybe I could do that. I had just gotten a guitar. I was I was a couple of years off from even getting to the open mic. But uh, you know it's one of those very important and beautiful rooms that have given a lot back to the to the musical community as well as the surrounding community right there in Cambridge and Boston in general. And it's a room you gotta go through if you wanna make up songs and play them for a living. But uh, I wanna sing you this song about Boston that uh, sort of involved my own life changing moments there that uh, feel like one long day since that day. This goes out to Bruce White, wherever he is tonight, and for anyone else who ever went back somewhere to have a look around and remember. Looking back, I thought I knew it all, 19 years old. Dropped off in the city, feeling wild and bold. Wandering the Fenway. Switch trains at Park Place. I did not care. Every day I was around the red line up to Harvard Square with a guitar and a heart full of what I thought was poetic despair. And I was up for it all. So here I am, all these years on. Of course, I'm wondering where the time has gone. Boston. Psychedelic cartoon children in the afternoon. You got them out there on those rooftops, laying at the moon. It was all so full of meaning and so maybe it was true. Once you get that high, you can only feel, feel low. Gonna be the man in a mission hill alleyway. Got me walking Commonwealth Avenue all the way to Back Bay. Of course, I'm wondering where the time has gone. 
Austin. You're looking at a very, very different man now. I'm searching for who I was then. Walking your streets again. Not sure I recognize you. I was in those days. And I'm searching every corner through the fog and haze. But I know that you are so lost to time and space. Gone now without a trace. So here I am, all these years on. Of course, I'm wondering where time is gone. Boston. Walk in your streets again. Yes, indeed. Ah, it is my overwhelming joy to play for you on a Wednesday night or any night. This Gibson is relatively new, uh, maybe about eight years old now, and it's a, it's a, a J35, Jill. Thank you for asking. It's very light. It's fast, and uh, Southwest Airlines bought it for me when they lost one. And I thought it would be a second guitar, but it kind of moved up into the number one spot. I mean, I'd like to talk about guitars all day long, because ever since this pandemic thing happened, I, you know, I've had so much time to play them. You know, when you're playing a lot of gigs, you're, you're doing the traveling and all the other stuff that goes along with it and now I got a lot of time to be home and I, the trick is to leave them on stands leave them everywhere I got them all over the place around here so that I'll pick them up and I'll play them and I've enjoyed it immensely uh, getting to know the guitar again these wooden machines so I I want to continue to tell you about what happened next, and that was I moved to California at some point after leaving the, leaving Florida, after I left Boston, and I lived up in the hills above Santa Cruz, California, and um, in the afternoons I used to sit in a place called the Brookdale Lodge in Felton, California. And I would sit with a guy who they called Lightning. And he told me his life story. And it was, seemed to me, a caution tale of those that sort of survived the 1960s. This is his story. 1966, the world was just waking up. Coming to in San Francisco, the Beatles played Candlestick. Everything was feeling new. The beat poets had all but left North Beach, and the the scene had moved to the park. In the middle of all that, my man Lightning he lit up the dark. He was born Charlie McChristy. Suburban town, he was a country club kid with a silver spoon playing on fresh cut ground. All the, the teachers called him brilliant, all the girls they loved his face, but he did not feel so good inside. For
first chance he got, he lit up out of that place. Just like Scholarship to San Francisco State had all the, the promise in the world. He soon discovered pills and the carousel ballroom and all those, those free love girls. And it did not take long to change him. Lightning stopped going to class. He told me a few hits of Owsley will do that to you. A few hits of Owsley put anyone on their ass. Friends called him lightning. That suited him just fine. In fact, his mind was moving fast and always working. Working over time. He had the idea for the space for personal arithmetic machines. Ah, but the drugs kept the genius bottled up. Just dreams. He could not bottle the lightning that was flashing. It was off and on. Brother, he was gone. He was gone. Left him disillusioned, depressed. Yeah. You see, the sixties slid into the seventies. Lightning, he drifted further west. Jack in Lahaina, but by then he was just a mess. Yeah, the dope was replaced by hard liquor and an anger inside. For lightning, the free love dream was over, it was just a lie. And he drowned one night in Kauai, drunk on stolen sheep. Champagne, his Hawaiian friends at the funeral, they didn't even know his real name. But that's just a thumbnail sketch of lightning. The man who came, and then he went. See, one minute you are here, then you disappear, your life lost in the firmament. Just like for my 
of life, and so are we. We were connected to the deepest places on our island in the sea. Time past the North Light with our home in the distance. Studied the side of my face. We're gonna let it Usually, you have to stretch out for it, but I just did it for you. Man. Yeah, so I see Abby is flashing the, the suggested donation. Whatever, you know, you can give. Half of it goes to Passim, and that's, you know, a wonderful thing you can do. Yeah, um, they're, they, they do a lot for their community. Yeah, they really do. I've known them they, to have funds to give musicians instruments and other such things, lessons and things in town. And... Uh, they're just a just a good bunch of people up there and they've been there a long time and that's you know that's not easy to do you have to they you know they you have to be good at what you do and care about where you are to have lasted as long as club passing so consider consider giving a little bit if you can if you can mostly for me i'm just glad that you're here and listening to the music you know, especially week after week after week, it matters to me. You guys have kept my boat on top of the water. It won't be long till I see you again in the room. Yeah. Here's a new song.
has descended on your life. From once you came up in the darkness and in the light. See the help you seek in the, the book upon the highest shelf. It's the one that says, have mercy on yourself. Because that alone will set you free. No preacher man Who can give you What you already have See you carry with you A map to the divine Where the horned owl sings To ease your troubled mind And that alone Will set you free Set you free. That alone will set you free. That alone will set you free. It'll pick you up. It'll roll your stone. That alone will set you free. felt good. It felt good to do. <laughs> Thank you, friends. Hey, you know, it's not just a normal Wednesday. It's a couple of, it's a couple of things. My great friend Suzanne, it was her birthday the other day. I don't know if she's watching down in D.C. But, uh, happy birthday to her and, uh, my best friend Abby Gardner, it's her birthday today. So I feel it's appropriate for me to perform this song that we wrote together and sang as a duet. And tonight, as a gift to her, I will be playing the role of both me and her. So please to enjoy.
fine So if this is the path that led me to you I will bless each mister in every sky that wasn't blue I will pray that I will learn from my mistakes felt good. Happy birthday, Abby. I miss hanging out with you. Maybe soon.
And roll the windows down on the truck Feel the tires roll over the asphalt And on to the shell I say a little prayer for luck I pray Cover from the fight. Just keep me home. I felt it. I felt it. I was gone. Boy, I really miss having a little group. You know, when I made that little record, for those of you that have heard it, it was a fascinating thing. My great friend, uh, Professor Dick Neal, man, concocted a cool little band. My great friend Steve Combs playing the bass guitar so brilliantly. And uh, Brother Chris, Brother Chris Barta playing these, these, this box, you know? I think I still have the box a little. It was, uh, yeah, I wish I had that little group tonight. Brother Chris got a new record out. He's got a single record. If you haven't heard it, you can hear it on all the services. It's a, it's a great take on a, on a um, Badfinger tune. Beatle favorites. And he did a great job with it. With our friends and Reckless Kelly. You gotta get that record. Five record. I promised someone I'd sing this tonight. It is my pleasure to do so. Worked the Michigan plants in the straight Mary Jenny lived in the sticks Just getting by the best he can Even a few steps ahead of where they began the Night Neil goes out and has a smoke Out in the tiny yard Under the giant oak Deep breath and closes his eyes, he just sighs. He says, Give me something, give me something here I, I can feel. Give me something. Every day when I walk out the door And I lose track of what it is I'm walking out for When I punch my car I only want to punch the wall But I know that punch won't do nothing at all You see, darling, there's a dark fear in my heart sometimes Voices in my head that I can't trust Maybe we can feel Something real and starting over Even this whole town in the dust See at night I trace my finger on a map From Cape Ann to Bimini So Santa Cruz to Hampton Bay I just close my eyes and drop my finger Give 
me something, give me something, give me something down here that I can feel. Something real is what you already know. Whether you stay here or whether you go. Maybe something real's wherever we call home. If you let me in, maybe I can make you feel less alone. Sure, life gets hard, it's not always fair. There's injustice and bullshit everywhere. Neil's eyes, they were locked up in a stare, looking at Jenny in the late day sun, dancing on her hair. And for a moment, he felt a welling up inside, he just pushed it down, he let it, he let it slide. As he turned around and walked into the house, he looked over his shoulder and said, Jenny, time you're standing right in front of me there's nowhere else that I that I need to be Jenny leaned on a giant oak tree she took a deep breath and closed her eyes Inside. Something real. I hope you guys are still with me during all those story songs and whatnot. Boy, I could do this all night. secret blue and deep it's in the dreams you dream when you are asleep there are doors that open paths that lead there is a voice inside that you must heed says take it along
something every day take it long try to make it great for all you know for this you cannot Gotta take it along again. Give a little bit away. I'll do something real. Feel something every day to take it along. Try to make it great. For all you know, for this you cannot. Take it along. My friends, this has been as much fun as I've had in all these weeks playing for you online like this. And uh... that's exactly where I want to be on Wednesday nights. But it was extra special this week. I, it means so much to play for, for Club Passim. Passim is such an utterly special place to me. A welcoming place, you know, full of all this great community and beauty there. So much great music in those kind of rooms like uh, the Bluebird and Passim and Cafe Lena and all these great rooms where so much great music has happened over the years. If you're ever in Cambridge and there's a show, it doesn't matter who, because anyone who's playing there, they've earned it. You know, it's, it's, a, it's that kind of place. So it's been my pleasure to play under their banner. Share this night with all of you. Yeah. And I will only tell you that I will be back again for the 21st installment of the MDB Song Hour next Wednesday night at 7 o'clock Eastern Time. It means a lot. I love what we're doing there. I've learned so much in 21 weeks. Thank you for listening to me and to you now. See, I thought you needed someone to point you in the wind. And I thought that you needed someone to start you up again. And I thought what you needed was my winded advice. Twice. And I guess that I was caught up in my own dreams I wasn't listening to any of yours, it seems So before you go, I hope you know you have my back into a tiny space and I guess that I was caught up in my old dreams I wasn't listening to any of your sit scenes but before you go I hope you know now you have my vow
caught up here in my own dreams. I wasn't listening to any of the words it seems. Send a message to you. Send a message on the wire. Yeah. I am honored to play for you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Passy. Thank you, friends. I'll see you down the line. Thank you, Passim. That's Mark Douglas Ferrardo. Uh, fantastic stuff. That last one reminded me of like Melissa Farrick, like that that kind of yelling and big strumming. Oh, great, great stuff. Uh, thank you so much for performing for us tonight, Mark. Thank you for all of you out there uh, for tuning in to the show tonight and joining us. Uh, for those of you who aren't already on the bandwagon, uh, you can join Mark every week, every Wednesday night at 7 o'clock Eastern uh, on his own Facebook page. You can go join him for the for the MDB Song Hour and, and join a lot of these folks that you've been seeing active in the chat. Um, uh, one more reminder, if folks would like to help support both Passim and Mark tonight, you can go make a donation at passim.org slash stream. Uh, we're suggesting a $20 donation for the show tonight. Uh, and also this show will remain up online. So if you if you miss the first couple songs and want to go check them out again, if you have a friend who couldn't watch it live and you think that they need to see this show, um, you can always point them back here and this will be up for another couple weeks. Uh, keep an eye out for the new music that Mark has coming out later this spring. Be sure to go to his website, uh, sign up for his mailing list. A lot of times his mailing list has info that you won't see on his socials. Um, so that is the most direct way to stay in touch with him. Uh, go to his site and sign up for that mailing list. Um, we are, of course, going to try to have Mark back in person, in the club, when it is, again, safe to do so here in Massachusetts. And I hope to see all of you, all of you that were watching tonight, could almost fill up the club. So we would have a, a, a nice, a nice packed, cozy house if you folks could all come out for us. So hope to see you in the future. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.